Okay, so good day all. This is going to be a tutorial for a VRP attack on an airbase. Um, it's heavily guarded with a couple of SAM sites. There's an SA-10 over here, an SA-2 and another SA-2, and then some AAA at the airbase itself. Uh, the flight plan is Cowboy 1, OCA Strike, loadout 2 GBU 30, 31Bs. Um, yeah, obviously armor piercing for for penetrating the runway. Um, okay, so the flight plan. We're taking off at Seoul, heading out to two, performing systems check, and then beginning ingress from steel point three and four. Um, around about here, when we start entering the engagement zone for the SA twos, we'll perform a dive, and then strive for a low level ingress up until the IP here at turn point six or steering point six. And then we will begin our VRP approach. The attack heading is 019, and that's just to align with the runway. And the steer points for the target. So the steer points for the target um, have been allocated, obviously, precision guide point for steer point seven. Um, that would be at the southern end of the runway. Um, and then again, steer point 13, cycling 14, 15, middle and end. Um, okay, so for this approach and this uh, this weapon delivery, we'll be using weapons delivery planner. So the mission plan has been has been loaded into mission delivery planner or weapon delivery planner. Um, here's the map. Obviously, just showing the flight plan, and then to set up the you know the toss, you click on this toss command. And then here are all your tossing parameters. Um, use this picture here as a guideline that normally works really well. Um, obviously cycling between VRP and VIP. IP is uh, vectoring from the ingress point and RP is a vector from uh, basically just provided on the map. Um, so that's if you know the general area, um, so I'm speaking under correction, if you know the general area of the target um, then you will use this type of approach. If you know the exact coordinates, you will cycle to the VIP weapon delivery. Uh, ingress speed 400 knots, ingress height 500 feet approximately. We don't have uh, TFR enabled as we're flying a block 50. The turn to target is a right hand turn. Now if you switch this to a left hand turn, watch out changes on the approach. So now you're going to have to turn sort of west heading around figures 280 and then perform a sharp turn towards the northeast. Um, yeah, I think this would cause you to bleed, bleed a little bit too much airspeed, um, so you have less likelihood of dodging SAMs um, and other threats as well. So leave this as a right turn, considering we are approaching from the north using the steer points as well. Um, it just makes for less maneuvering. So this angle off is the angle from the actual steer point. So I set this to 90 degrees considering we are ingressing towards the target using the steer point navigation at approximately 90 degrees um, to you know to our actual target heading which is this line here um, so to get onto this line we're going to have to perform a 90 degree, 90 degree turn and then um, cycle through to the right um, yeah i'm a little bit iffy on this so don't quote me it just makes it easier as far as navigation is concerned and the HUD cues. The attack heading is 019 degrees. Uh, that is pre-briefed. Um, if you go and recon the actual target area, you'll see if you align the you know, the heading, um, that that lines up pretty nicely with the runway. So if you're doing sort of a dumb bomb attack, um, that would work really well with C CRP or CCIP. Um, okay, so the release angle, 18 degrees, that gives the maximum bomb range according to Weapon Delivery Planner. So we will use that. Release speed, 500 knots. Um, so we will perform the pull-up in basically full afterburner. Release height, 5,000 feet approximately. Obviously f following the CCRP release cues. Um, yeah, for Weapon Delivery Planner, that is about all we have. Uh, we can just perform general checks. Um, okay, we will obviously do a full ramp start, depending on what the weather's like. I think it's pretty bad weather. 
and we will need to use an ILS approach or visual depending. A nav offsets just con confirming the IP, all your steer point data. Um, and yeah, that's it, save DTC. So now back into BMS, we can load up the attack. Just confirm coordinates. Okay. So at this stage, I will switch the steer point to, to the target, which is around there somewhere. Um, and to initialize the VIP approach, or the VIP hunt queues, um, basically what you do is you just TMS write once. Um, if you just pay attention to the HSD as I'm flying the approach, um, you will see the cursor will change positions. Now, those are the locations or the nav queues, um, which will bring you to the pull-up point. Um, yeah, I think that's that's all for now. Um, just again, confirm the target steer point, steer point 13 and steer point 14. Uh, those are going to be our targets and we will pickle bombs um, to those steer points when we reach the required range, um, rapid pickle and egress out. So let's see if we can get it right. Switch to target, TMS right once. It takes to the first turn point, VRP1. Which is on top of the mountain, not exactly ideal. I'm gonna probably get a sand launched at us there. Nevertheless. That was just the slap switch. Oh, VRP2. And target. At this point we could probably radar on. So I will switch to steer point 13 right now. Uh, something's gone wrong, okay. What we need to do is we first need to reset the, the cursor. Um, that gives us better, and basically it takes it straight back onto the steer point. What the TMS right does through, you know, with switching through the uh, VIP queues is it slews the cursor basically onto onto those locations just for easier navigation um, so if you look at the HUD we are re already receiving our uh, first release queue um, yeah so obviously once that starts flashing then we'll proceed to pull up and bomb pickle It's just a basic ACMI view of the attack, uh, showing all release points, even though they were late, um, yeah, as noted in the video itself. Uh, yeah, I missed the first release queue and mis mistook the second release queue for the first. So, yeah, pay attention. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. And pickle, both bombs tracking and impacting 
the uh, south and center bits of the runway. Thanks for watching. That's all from me. Unless you would like to go and watch the heads down approach. Um, also, obviously, with a few mistakes. Um, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll provide a link to that video in the description.